Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will go through the day 9 problem from Agar Kid Coding Challenge, Rotting Oranges. Please like the video and if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any update. In a given grid, each cell can have one of the three values. The value 0 representing an empty cell, the value 1 representing a fresh orange and value 2 representing a rotten orange. Every minute any fresh orange that is adjacent to a rotten orange becomes rotten. Return the minimum number of minutes that must elapse until no cell has a fresh orange. If this is impossible, return minus 1. In the sample example, we can see how with each passing minute, fresh oranges turns rotten. Here are two more examples attached with the problem. Let's start with our approach. As we need to traverse all the nodes in the four direction with respect to the initial node, we need to use a search technique, which in this case will be BFS. We'll start off with this example. It is much more clearer when displayed visually. Now that we will be implementing BFS, we will need a queue. We will also need two more variables. First, fresh orange, which will hold the number of fresh orange and the minutes, which will hold the number of minutes, which has ellipsed till now. We first need to know the number of fresh oranges and also the index of all the rotten ones. So we will loop on the grid and increment fresh orange when the value is 1 and add the pair of row and column into Q when the value is 2. This gives us the fresh orange as 6 and the index of the rotten into Q. Now we will loop till the Q becomes empty, similar to BFS. We will first find the size of the Q. It comes out to be 1. Now we pop the element from the queue till the size variable becomes 0. For every element popped, we will update its 4 adjacent value to 2 if they are 1 and add their index into the queue and decrement the fresh orange count. For index 0, 0, only these two positions have the value 1. So we update them to 2 and add their index into queue. Also decrementing the fresh orange count. As size becomes 0, we come out of the inner loop and then increment the minutes. We repeat the same steps, first by finding the size and then removing the element till the size is not 0. Then we update the fresh oranges to rotten while decrementing their count and adding their indexes into the queue. Now 1,0 do not have any fresh adjacent, so we move ahead and increment minutes. Continuing with this loop till the queue becomes empty. As now the queue is empty, we return the result. If the fresh orange is 0, it means it is possible to make all the fresh orange to rotten, so we return minutes, otherwise we return minus 1. In this case, we return 4. Summarizing all the steps, we first initialize a minutes variable to minus 1, a queue and a fresh orange to 0. We loop over the grid and add index into the queue if the value is 2 or increment the fresh orange when the value is 1. If fresh orange is 0, then we return 0. We loop till the queue is not empty and then find the size of the queue. We loop till the size is not 0. We pop the first element and update the value in all the four directions if the value is 1 and add the pair into the queue. At the end of the while, we increment minutes. If fresh orange is 0, we return minutes, else we return minus 1. The time and space complexity is O of n. Here is the actual Java code snippet. You can also find the link to the code in the description below. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comment section what you think about the video.